on the Comoros Island are reported to have died in the Indian Ocean, while eight survived after, after they were rescued by fishermen in Watamo. The sailors drifted the Indian Ocean waters for 22 days after their vessel developed a mechanical breakdown. Our reporter Ryan Andanje tells us the story. They set off in their boat from Comoros Island, sailing deep into the Indian Ocean, optimistic and eager to cross over to Watamu Island. However, what seemed like an epic journey turned so when the calm ocean became wild. The strong ocean tides hit their boat, causing them to lose direction. Seven unfortunately perished, and those who survived were rescued by fishermen who spotted their small engine boat tied with a white piece of cloth floating, signaling their dishes that the engine was not working. <laughs> nikapigiwa simu na watu wa navy kwa sababu mimi kidogo na ufahamu wa hii lugha yao tumekuja tumesaidiana na wao watu wenyewe wako hapa tumepatana na madaktari wa navy pamoja na uh, Malindi Hospital tumesaidiana na wao tumepata namba zao tumejaribu kuconnect na pia na watu wa kwao the sailors were thirsty hungry and very weak having survived in the waters without food for 22 days the fishermen alerted Kenyan Navy soldiers who quickly responded, taking them to a term dispensary before rushing them to Malindi Sub-County Hospital. Locals in Watamu, in a gesture of kindness, donated cloth and water to the sailors, most of whom could barely talk. Only one of them spoke, but in Comoros language only. Mimi ni mkazi wa Malindi, Majengo. Nimepigiwa simu kuna problem ya wakomoro walopotea na, na, na meli na jahazi na wakapotea na... The survivors are currently recuperating and responding well to treatment. Ryan Andranje for KUTV Primetime.